I'm going to tell you about four iPhone apps you've probably never heard of, but you will love. Three of them are for productivity, and there's one just for fun. Let's jump into it. The first app you have to try is called Zozo. It's a pretty new application. Zozo actually acts like a third-party keyboard. You can add things like a text shortcut, URL photo, or even a document. And then once you had those links, let's say to your social media or YouTube channel, then when you're replying to a tweet, a text message, or an email, you can go to the Zozo keyboard, tap one of those shortcuts like your YouTube channel link, and it'll just pop it up there automatically. I keep some of the videos that I reply with most, like how to edit podcasts on iPad, and I also have my social media links like TikTok and Twitter. Because you can also use documents and attach those quickly to an email or even a text message. Maybe you have a rate sheet for your podcast or just pricing for your business. Having those as a document quickly available whenever you're typing with a keyboard, it's really convenient. Love Zozo. You can check out the link in the video description. The second app for productivity is called Lock Launcher. This one is a really powerful application. It has lots of features where you can customize widgets, especially for the lock screen. You can even program lock screen widgets that will run a shortcut or just open an app. You can add an action here, and then you can choose whether or not you want it to open an app. You can even have it open a website or run a shortcut. Let's say we want this to open Apple Books. I'll choose Apple Apps. We'll go to Books. You can even customize the icon, the title, and the color. You can try to keep it consistent, and then hit Save. Now when you're editing your lock screen and you go to customize it and add a lock screen widget, you can go down to the Lock Launcher app. You can then choose between all the different widgets. And you see these are the widgets that were in order in the app. This one again actually runs a shortcut. And if I put that widget on my lock screen, you'll see I can tap it. It will run the shortcut. And this is actually my Watch Now shortcut. It brings up a menu. This shortcut chooses which room I'm watching in. Let's say it's the bedroom. It actually wakes that Apple TV, turns on my TV, and then my iPhone is ready to control the Apple TV going to the remote app. Launching shortcuts right from the lock screen, super powerful, it's a lot of fun. So check out Lock Launcher, that link is also in the video description. So let's go to a more just for fun app. This is called Sofa. You may have heard of this one before, but it's a great way to keep track of the things that you wanna read, you wanna watch, or even board games to play. It has these built-in categories, plus things called the pile and the shelf. And if you're in a shortcut, Sofa has a ton of shortcut actions that you can use to open certain parts of the app, find a list or find items you've added, and a ton more. Again, I even add board games that I want to play with my family later, things to listen to, podcasts or audiobooks, and a new feature they just added to Sofa. So the movies that I want to watch soon, you'll see I can tap one of them, and you can actually scroll down and see where it's streaming, where it's available now. These choices are powered by Just Watch, and so if I really want to learn more, I can tap any of those services, it'll jump me over to the Just Watch page of that specific movie, and I can see all the streaming services it's available to stream on for free or for rent. Which if you've never heard of Just Watch, that's an incredible website and an app where you can search any movie and you can see where it's streaming, how much it costs to rent. I'll put a link to that in the video description as well. You can even add notes to the different movies you want to watch, maybe where you heard it from or why you want to watch it. And you can even share lists with other people. That's a beta feature. Again, one of the new ones that they added in the latest update. Love the Sofa app. You should totally check it out. Guess what? Link in the description. All right, and lastly, app number four that you've probably not heard of, unless you've been watching videos on this channel, is called Transloader. Transloader is an app you can get on iPhone and iPad. What it does is when you come across a link, either on your iPhone or your iPad, and you want to send it to your Mac because it's a download, but it's specifically a Mac download, Transloader can send that link to a Mac at home or at the office, and it will automatically download that thing you sent it. A really powerful way to use it is to actually download videos from the internet using Downy. We have a whole video explaining that process, how you can send a link from the Transloader app on your iPhone, downloads the video file, saves it to your desktop, and via iCloud Drive, then you can get that video right on your iPhone again. Check out that video at the link above or in the video description. So those are four apps you probably haven't heard of, but you definitely need to check out. That's Zozo, Lock Launcher, Transloader, and Sofa. Links to all of those apps are in the video description. Hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the Bearded Teacher channel. We have lots of tips on iPhone, Mac, iPad, and different shortcuts, especially in the shorts for this channel. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.